Hi guys, my name is Rasmus and in today's video I'm going to be talking about marketplace building. I myself have been building multiple marketplaces and in this video I'm going to show you how you can build your own marketplace very fast. But let's just start with first talking a little bit about what marketplace is and why it is actually a good business. So a marketplace is basically an online place where two sites can interact with each other. So buyers on one side and sellers on the other side. So we all know a lot of these marketplaces out there. So let's take a couple of examples. We can start with Airbnb. So Airbnb have two sides, as we all know, right? So there are the people that are looking for a place to stay. And then there are the owners of the apartment that choose to let people stay in exchange for some money. And then of course there's Amazon. Amazon connects uh, sellers with uh, consumers. And another kind of marketplace is uh, Tinder. Right? So uh, people looking for relationships, they can go to Tinder and then easily uh, try and connect with other people who are also looking for uh, relationships. Okay, so why build a marketplace business? Marketplaces are great businesses once they're established because they create very strong network effects. As more users join, the value of the marketplace increases, making it even more attractive for new users to join the marketplace. And this then creates a self-reinforcing effect that is then very difficult for competitors to disrupt once established. Okay, so now we know what a marketplace is and why it is a good business. So let me show a couple of marketplaces that I've built myself. The first one was a marketplace for buying and selling podcast ads. So the idea with this marketplace was to get podcasters to list their podcast on the marketplace and then uh, find advertisers that actually wanted to buy advertising on these podcasts so that these two sites very easily could connect. And uh, as you can see here, I did manage to quickly build the marketplace and uh, I then launched it on a Reddit uh, thread because uh, there's a very uh, active uh, Reddit thread uh, among uh, podcasters. And as you can see here, I did manage to get quite a lot of uh, uh, upvotes, also a lot of comments, uh, and that's always a very good sign. So uh, you always wanna find a place where you can uh, launch your marketplace once you build your uh, MVP, that is super important. So as you can see here, it went pretty good. Uh, I did, however, decide to close this uh, marketplace after six months because I realized that I could only get uh, the smaller podcasters to to list uh, on this marketplace. Uh, the bigger podcasters, they simply don't need to list their podcast uh, anywhere because they already already have a lot of advertisers writing them all the day. So uh, they don't have that need. And I did get a couple of uh, transactions uh, going through uh, the marketplace, uh, as you can see here. However, most advertisers only bought once, which of course is also a very bad sign. So they probably had a bad experience. Um, and that is because I only managed to get smaller slash medium sized podcasters to, to, to list on the marketplace. And the value in these uh, podcasts were simply not good enough for, for advertisers. So um, that's why I decided to then close it down after six months, but it was a super good uh, experience and I learned a lot from, from that. Another marketplace that I recently built is uh, called Naughty Mox, and that is a marketplace for buying and selling movement mocks. And these kind of mocks are very uh, popular in the Nordic region. I myself have a couple of friends and family members that collect uh, these uh, mocks. I, I also collect myself. Um, so I thought it was fun to, to build a marketplace for easily uh, connecting buyers and sellers of these uh, kind of mocks. For this marketplace, I launched it on uh, a Facebook group. Well, uh, several Facebook groups actually, because sellers and buyers are very active on Facebook uh, for this uh, product. There are multiple Facebook groups uh, out there for uh, sellers of uh, movement mocks. And that is of course also a very good sign, right? So you wanna find where they are basically, right? Is that on Reddit? Is that Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it somewhere else, right? And that is super important because you need to, to find a place where uh, you can launch your marketplace once you build your MVP. You can see on this marketplace that I have uh, multiple uh, pretty cool features here, uh, such as Stripe integration. You can easily write to each other. Actually, in this one, you don't even have to be logged into 
to write uh, to each other. Uh, I'm trying to make it uh, super easy to write, basically. And the reason why I do that is because uh, I'm trying to remove as much, fr much friction as possible so that a, a new potential buyer doesn't even have to create an account in order to, to first contact a, a seller. Once that initial uh, contact has been made, and then the, the buyer will have to then create an account. So that's, that's how the logic is, is, is set up. Okay, so now I wanna move into how you yourself can build uh, your marketplace uh, quickly. And there are a couple of uh, ways of, uh, of doing this. One way of doing it is if you are not uh, technical at all, you can use uh, ShareTribe. ShareTribe is good for non-technical people. It's not that customizable though, uh, but you can build uh, somewhat of an MVP. But I would say like if you, if you wanna have like a, a good MVP, you still do need a, a developer to help you out. And that's probably gonna cost you a couple of uh, thousands of dollars. And once you then go live, with your, your marketplace, then it costs up to, I think it's up to 300 or, or more dollars per month to keep on using ShareTribe. Another one that I found, but actually I haven't tested out, is called mymarketplacebuilder.com. They're similar to ShareTribe, so it's a, it's a similar way. So like they are focusing on non-technical uh, people and you can then build your MVP of your marketplace. You probably also hear, I'm pretty sure, you still need a developer to really make everything uh, custo customized for, for your marketplace idea. But that might also be a good way to, to build your marketplace relatively quickly. And they also then charge a monthly fee, as you can see here. A third way is to basically use my boilerplate. It's an XGS boilerplate where you can basically very quickly build uh, your marketplace MVP. I am gonna show you how you can do this in a couple of hours uh, in another video. For, for doing this, of course, you will have to be a little bit technical but everything is basically set up for you. So you only have to, to do minimal stuff in order to quickly get your uh, marketplace MVP out there uh, to see if you can actually get both sides to, to talk to each other. And that is the, the most important thing uh, when launching a marketplace, right? Um, I guess building it is actually the easy part. The hard part is actually trying to get both sides to, to connect and actually intact uh, with each other. That is it for, for this video. If you uh, liked it, then uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel. More videos are coming. Uh, you can also go ahead and like this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.